How's it going guys? I'm your host Carvan Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play Mac Quest episode. And for today's video, we are actually going to be exploring the next part of the Mac Quest story. And for last week's episode, we actually already finished off with Planet Zargon. So let's see where our adventures bring us today. Okay, so I want to click on Mission Log Info Story Guide. So after the first chapter of Zargon, we are going to Gark slash Lagos. Okay, which planet is this? Someone is very interested in meeting you for reasons unknown. Might be worth checking out. Head to Gark and find out more. But be careful, Gark is a lawless outpost for smugglers and thieves. You don't want to go in unarmed. Oh! Oh wait, this is the pirate ninja planet, right? Pirates versus Arturians or something like that. No, not, not ninjas. They have another name for it or something. Ooh! Oh, this is quite interesting. Oh, I, I definitely don't remember this planet, uh, this intro cutscene when I first played through, when I first played this game like years ago. Huh, maybe I just didn't remember. Oh yeah, I remember this one. You know what this planet reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, Tatooine planet from Star Wars. Yep, that's what it reminds me of. See here. Okay, let's move forward. Probably going to fight some bad guys along the way. Oh, okay. On foot. What do you have here? Nothing? Huh. I thought you'll be faced off with, against some bad guys or something. Alright, juice bar. This little cantina is the meeting place for many unsavory types. Enter at your own risk. Okay. Order some juice. Oh boy, here we go again. Hey you, that's my seat you're sitting in. I don't know you. I don't like you either. Time to teach you a lesson. Get him, guys. Bar fight. Okay, hey, you had better have a good blade, friend. All this over some juice. What in the what is the world coming to? Yeah, what in the world? Why? You want to fight me over some juice? Seriously? Okay, so it looks like they have a machete. Or machete. Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. They have the machete energy blade. Okay, numbers are still pretty bugged, unfortunately. Holy crap, 29. Wow. Some easter eggs in the background, Master Twang over here, not sure what he's doing on this planet. This guy from the Westion planet, forget what's his name again. And maybe I'm miss missing out some other easter eggs, I don't know, you guys can let me know down in the description below. Yeah, so you have to go through 10 rounds. Ooh, once again, another story grind. Okay, this is just going to be a short one, so I'm just going to leave this in. I'm not going to cut it out. And yeah, you definitely need to be very well prepared here because look at the amount of damage they are doing. That is crazy. So if you're not a black belt, or uh, if you don't have this Ultra Omni Night Blade, definitely you want to get a uh, Ultra Omni Night Blade before you enter this planet because if you don't, chances are you're going to lose the energy fight. Even before this planet, I think... Uh, when we first entered Westion, you probably do need quite a good energy weapon to deal with the Valkarims. They do quite a lot of damage as well as the Minor for the Nier, uh monster. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, easy. And last one. Right, so what? Do we get free juice on the house after beating all of them? I hope we do. Let's see. And, ooh, last round of... Okay. I thought just now was the last round. Okay, this is the last round. <coughs> wow, that was quite a bar fight. It's hard to believe that it was all about a little seat in a bar. Yeah, tell me about it. Right, so now what? You're pretty tough, but now you've got bigger problems. Those guys were working for pirates. Yeah, okay, just drink juice. 45 vitamins. You are healed. Nice. Okay, that can be good. Captain Zack Flamingo and his crew rode in a few weeks ago and are terrorizing this town. What on the street is that his first mate Skipper wants you out of the picture for good. What? We don't even know him. Are you kidding me? You better be a good mecha pilot, you've got big problems. Yeah, we'll see about that. Skipper, huh? Why would he want me out? He got here before me and I haven't visited this planet before so strictly speaking, he shouldn't even know who I am, right? What? Am I really that famous in Gears University? That they've heard about me already? It's kinda weird though. Why would you want someone you don't even know out? Great job, you defeated Captain Zack's first mate, Skipper. That was easy. Okay, so Captain Zack himself... Oh wow, that was, that was fast? The, the boss already? 
Okay. So this guy is oh minus seventy to hit. That's not good. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. How? Okay. This is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought. Right. I really did like the animations on these pirate weapons. Really cool. Minus seventy to hit. Oh god. Not good. Not good, guys. Okay. Alright, nice. So we still managed to hit him and finish him off. Great job, you defeated Captain Zack. The cantina is safe for now. Okay. Wow, that was pretty impressive. Hey, that guy over there wants to talk to you. Hello, I must admit that this has all been staged by me. Prince Robert. What? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Robert of the Altion Dynasty on the planet Arturia. I desperately need your help. My sister Robina disappeared three weeks ago. She was, on a, she was on a philanthropic mission when her craft suddenly veered off course. Our father, fearing for her safety, gave her a locket that has a hidden tracking device. We traced the signal of the, plan of the locket to the planet Lagos in a distant star system. We believe that she has been kidnapped by a group of pirates led by the dread pirate Rubak. We believe that Lagos is the secret home of the pirates. Our Royal Navy is headed there now. I'd like you to go in and escort Rabina safely away from Lagos. Do you accept this mission? Wait, you have the Royal Navy going in. Why would you want me, some random person, going in as well? Huh. Let's check out weapon shops first. Okay, so we can't buy any of his weapons until we complete his mission for him, of course. Yeah, oh. Oh, okay. You don't have to complete his missions. Okay, uh, Planet Lagos appears on your star map. I wish you the best of luck on this mission. My sister's life is in your hands. Oh, so all you have to do is accept the mission and he'll let you buy his stuff, right? Imagine he'll give you them for free if he wanted you to help rescue his sister, but no, you have to buy them. Alright, uh, extra hit. Wow, this could be pretty good. Throwing attack, extra damage. Okay. Shipping musket, this one, oh, for star captains only. Okay, ability to deactivate an enemy weapon. Wow, really, really strong effect here, but obviously you can't use that. Clinging bombs, uh, striking the mystical connection between a mecha and its shadow. Very, not sure what that does. Target lock on, oh, this one boosts your bonus to hit. Alright, uh, pretty decent weapons, but I don't think I'll be getting any of those. Because the lowest level 1 is level 23. So let's head on over to Lagos right now. <clears throat> okay, now what? Okay. Planet Lagos. Exactly the same introduction as Planet Gark. But just a uh, reskinned Planet Gark. <laughs> okay. Ooh, wow, this ship here is really cool though. Holy crap. These are some fantastic mecha designs, I have to say. Probably one of my favorites inside of the game. The pirate as well as the eagle mechas. And they used to be such a big thing uh, when it first came out. It was the AVP war. Yes, guys. Not aliens versus predators, but Arturians versus pirates. That was the most talked about event in the entire MQ universe. And it was also around the same time when the Skull Crusher mecha first came out. Wow, that brings back so many memories. There was this video on their website showing the Skull Crusher mecha versus the Arturian mecha. Back then, the Arturian Eagle was a super duper strong mecha, and the Skull Crusher mecha just annihilated it. That was such a cool video, and I remember the person piloting the mecha or doing the testing was actually Warlick himself. Imagine how cool was that. Man, that really did bring back a lot of memories. Skull Crusher mecha was so hyped up, but as a kid, obviously, uh, you know, having typical parents, we weren't able to, you know, order uh, stuff. Online online shopping wasn't such a big thing back then. Yeah, so not many people were using online shopping yet. And to order the art book from there all the way back to Singapore, back then shipping was also a killer. So yeah, it was pretty expensive for an art book. But at the end of the day, it's not really the art book that we wanted, but more of the in-game item, which is the Skull Crusher Mecha. Yeah, sad to say I never got... Uh, the art book as well as the mecha, I never got to play around with it and right now the artwork is obviously sold out so yeah, it's no longer available but nowadays the mecha is not that strong anymore and unfortunately MechQuest is no longer being updated but uh, those were pretty good times man. 
really pretty good times. The reflective nature of the atmosphere of this planet makes teleportation very difficult. Unfortunately, it appears that you have been beamed into the ocean. You have to head for those islands to the east. Wow, okay, good luck. Yeah, that's not good luck at all. Right, so crazy cracker. Go back to Katu, I guess. What in the world just happened? Okay, this fight is bucked as crap. Huh. What in the world just happened? That was so bugged, but oh my god, 5,000 credits, guys. Wait. Is this the new best place for farming credits? Can we farm credits here? EXP is ridiculously high too. What in the world is going on? Huh. Yeah, that, that was super duper bugged. Okay, right. But, oh my god. Assuming those values were correct, I don't know if those values were bugged as well. But, 450 EXP and 5000 credits for one monster that is bugged out to basically kill itself. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is this the new best farming spot? I don't know, man. Can you replay that Kraken fight, though? I'm a bit curious. If you can, that'll be really ridiculous. I don't think you can after. Arturian Ram. Halt, stranger. This is as far as you go. Turn away now or be destroyed. Oh, this is another very interesting mecha as well. We have the Eagle as well as the Ram. Uh, the ram isn't as interesting as the eagle from what I remember, but yeah, it's still a really unique mecha design. So guys, see here. Combo hit, ooh, 32% damage, minus 20% to hit. Nice. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow. And let's finish this guy off. Unlock secret hideout. Nice. Victory count shows how many prizes you have defeated. It's a temporary count. It resets after you log out. What? 20 pirates. Uh, Solon Wolf Mecha. Okay, so I'm going to do one on camera to see what we are facing. Uh, just the battle ramps, I guess. Alright, so I'll probably do the rest off camera. And uh, yeah, let's finish off this fight and then we'll cut when I finish all 20 battles. So once again, another story grind. Man, what is with MechQuest and their story grinds? 20 for Zargon, 100 for Westion, 20 for Gark and Lagos as well. Wow. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'll be right back with you guys. Right guys, so I am back. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the mecha now. Okay, Pirate Chassis, Wolf Mecha, and we have the Anchorman. These are locked. We must complete Stolen Wolf Quest to unlock this shop. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out. Whoops, I turned off the sound by accident because I was also <laughs> watching some videos while farming. Okay, so you actually don't need uh, to farm for a very long time. The grind is actually pretty fast. So yeah, it took me like, what, 10-15 minutes? Honestly, not that long. Okay, so let me turn the sound back on. Uh, mecha, we won't buy anything. Weapons? Ooh, stolen wolf mecha once again. Alright, so let's go for our next mission. We have a situation on our hands. An important mecha was stolen and I want you to get it back. The mecha was that was stolen was an alpha wolf. It is a powerful unit fit for a variety of combat situations. However, losing a mecha is not what is at stake here. That particular mecha has some important data files in its system. It is critical that we get it back. If the pirates find that data file, I'm afraid that the information it contains could put my sister at serious risk. L luckily, the information is contained in a hidden file, so I don't believe the pirates know about it yet. I want you to explore this region of Lagos. You'll have to jump from island to island in your search. You'll be exploring the southwest region of this map. We believe that the Solon Wolf is on one of these islands. Please bring her home in one piece. Alright, so let's go. One of these islands, huh? Uh huh. Where are we? Click on an island to go there. Hint, you must explore at least 10 unique islands before you have a chance to find a wolf on one. What? Okay, so what happens? Each island is a. Oh no, it's not a battle. It is, uh, you walk around to explore to find a battle. Okay.
and you have to do at least 10 of these islands in order to have a chance to find a wolf. Now, in real life, that doesn't make sense, obviously. Like, it could be on, it could very well be on the first island if you're lucky enough to go to the right one. But obviously, in game, that's not how it works because, you know, for some very weird reason, uh, yeah. You have to explore 10 islands before you unlock your secret island that the wolf is hiding on. Oh my god. Uh, more grinding, I guess. So, you know what? I'm just going to navigate through this part as I do uh, as I do it. I don't really want to skip through it. Maybe we'll end off the video somewhere here while I'm doing it. But yeah, I realize that every single planet is grind, 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 grind. And uh, yeah, it's just kill X enemies X number of times to progress through the story. And I know I'm complaining about this in every single MQ video, but I wish there were more animations, there were more mini games, there were more different ways that they could progress the story apart from just, you know, uh, fight enemies 20 times, fight and then, you know, roll for these parts, you know, something like that, like, oh my god. Okay, so that's one island done. Oh, it shows a cross at least. Okay. Okay, okay, fair enough. So let's go on to the next island. You do get a full heal after every single island search. Something like that. Hmm. Is there a chance to get a, like an empty island without monsters? I don't think so, right? On the bright side, at least you get to see all of the different designs of the pirate uh, mechas. And I think they look extremely cool. Alright, so yeah, enjoy the artwork while you can, while doing the stupid grind, and... Uh, okay, that's one. Is it like, what, two battles every island? No? Okay, only one. Okay, that was shorter than I thought. Okay, maybe this might not take so long, so you know what, I'm going to include this part in, because at least you're doing a little bit of exploring. Oh! Okay, that's nice. There are some islands which are empty. Okay, what's that? Hmm, interesting. Right, so, uh, as I was saying, not all islands uh, have monsters on them, so that's good. I don't know how many empty islands there are, or it could just be completely randomized, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, at least this one, it's a little bit more interesting, because one, you get to face off against different monsters, and two, uh, you actually have to walk around and explore. What is this thing exactly? Oh, wait, what? Huh. Okay, so walking back there means what? You have to fight? I have a feeling there's a trigger pad somewhere on the map. Like if you click on it or if you walk over that trigger pad, then you'll fight a monster and it's it's basically an unlimited number of times. Is that how it works? I don't know, I'm just guessing. And whoa, this mecha is really high dodge. How? Even on the first turn, I'm already missing him. How in the world is that happening? Yeah, I'm just really unlucky or the mechas here they have some very strong uh, blinding effects in my opinion like minus 70 to hit minus 25 to hit uh yeah a lot of dodge capabilities for these mechas so it could be a really strong effect oh you can find treasure too nice I was hoping that will happen so yeah as I was saying that could be a really strong effect but not many mechas actually have that effect so unfortunately it's really or uh, not many weapons actually give you that effect. So actually it's not as strong as you thought it might be. Uh, like say compared to Adventure Quest. But the dodge build is by far the strongest build in some of the entire Adventure Quest. But you know not really for Mech Quest. For Mech Quest it's more of the EP drain build. But according to uh, the comments that you guys gave. EP Drain is pretty pay to is a pretty pay to win build, so I don't think we'll be able to build that in this episode. But I do like to explore it at some time. I don't know if I want to because obviously I don't want to spend money on a dead game. If they do revive this game, however, I will consider spending money in it again. You know, just to explore all the different stuff because I think Mech Quest is a very unique game of theirs, and you know who doesn't like giant walking robots and laser swords, right? Come on, there's, there's no way you can hate on that, right? Okay, so this planet is obviously a lot bigger than the rest because this is a big planet. So I assume that we have to 
fight a lot more enemies on this planet Maybe take a longer time to explore this planet But that's okay All the other planets that we visited were small planets Oh yeah, speaking of which I wonder if there's like 10 small planets Then you just and Like, you just explore the 10 smaller planets Instead of exploring the bigger ones So it'll be way faster Oh wait, if you click on it again You can explore it again But yeah, there's no point in doing that so why not just explore the smaller ones, right? The smaller ones, which means you finish off the planet faster because there's different, there's lesser rooms for you to walk through, I think. I'm not sure if it corresponds to the number of enemies because that big planet only had two enemies, uh, whereas the smaller planet, some of them had two enemies as well. So yeah, I guess it doesn't, the size of the island doesn't really correspond to the number of enemies you'll face. Sorry, did I say planet? Yeah, I meant to say island. Oh my god, okay. Oh, another one. Alright, Pirate Captain. Okay, this is progressing pretty quickly. It's honestly not taking that long because you have to have some sort of stupid role whereby if you fail the role, then you have to keep doing it infinitely. So yeah, at least there's that. So it's not that bad. Okay, let's see what she's on. That should be the end of this planet. Okay, next up. Ooh, yeah, really a lot of planets. Let's explore this one. Enemy unit detected. See, I realized that the mech quest story is actually very short. A large part of it is actually grinding. Like, the dialogue is short. Animations, honestly, not that many. Like, sure, there are some, but not that many. And really, the main draw of mech quest is not its story. I feel it's definitely not the grinding, but really the unique mecha battles. But when you have to do the same mecha battles over and over and over again, uh, yeah, that's when it sort of kind of gets boring. Of course, you can experiment with a bunch of different builds and stuff like that, but you know, no, nobody wants to like unless you plan on exploring every single build and item out there. Yeah, uh, grinding like twenty enemies is not fun. Especially if you have to use the same one. You can use different one, but it does slow down your progress because obviously you want to use the most efficient one, right? To get through your horde of enemies. But you know, a game is all about having fun. Like, there's really no rush in trying to do everything as quickly as possible. What matters is you're enjoying it. So if you're the type who gets bored easily like me, if you want to switch up different mechas, different weapons for every single battle, you can go ahead and do so if you really want to. Uh, in the interest of the video, I obviously won't be doing so but yeah just to let you know that there's obviously more than one way to play the game apart from what i'm showing you all right so now we've explored 10 islands let's see if we have a chance to find the stupid wolf and how many islands we'll need in order to find the wolf after number 10 okay so there's a set number of islands on the map so i'm assuming that there that you will be able to find the wolf uh, before you explore all of the different islands on the map. I'm not sure if, they, if you will have a chance of finding it if you go back and explore the same island. I don't think so, but uh, don't quote me on that. So uh, I'm just going to check every single island once and hopefully I can find a wolf before that. Alright, so that's one. Let's explore this one. This one's slightly bigger. Ooh. Arturian wolf detected. Nice, we found it. Alright, very nice. Stolen wolf. Okay. Lined up by the light. Blinded by the light. Okay. Minus sixty percent accuracy. Wow. Okay, still managed to land the hit, so that's good. <coughs> nice. Power of the savage wolf. What does that do? Damage rising over time, okay. Yeah, it's not going to rise anymore, unfortunately. Wolf recovered. Excellent work. After repairs are made, I'd like you to pilot the wolf back to my hideout. Bug alert. Beta feature. Temporary mecha loading has a couple of minor issues with if... Excuse me. With equipped items, just re-equip your mecha after this quest if you experience strange item naming issues. We are working on it. Yeah. Man, how long ago was this bug, guys? I guess it was never fixed ever since the planet came out. Nice. Okay. 
So now we are piloting the Wolf Mecha. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, let's see what we have here. Wolf Fang. Energy and health burn. Nice. So it's a HP and EP dot. Ooh, okay. So they have one too. Wow. There's the Wolf Friends. Rage, 30% damage boost. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. Alpha Spirit. Spirit of the Wolf heals you. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's do the front... The front arm. We got Strike increased by 50%. Oh, very nice. But we can't explore that ship. Mission complete. You have safely returned the Wolf. Nice. New mecha and weapon shops unlocked. Okay, that's great. Click on I learned to go there. Okay, blah blah blah. I don't have to explore all of them, right? So I have one, two, three, four, no, four, five, six, seven, seven islands left unexplored. That's a weird number. Hold on. One, two, three. Oh, this one doesn't light up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it should be twenty islands in total. Okay. Right, uh shops, let's look at the wolf mecha. We have the Wolf Mechas over here. They all cost Nova Gems, so we are not going to buy them. Anchorman. Oh, we have the Boo Mechas as well. And the Anchorman Mecha. Ooh, okay, very cool. Anchorman, I think they are Star Captain only. There's level 50 versions of this. Strange, I didn't know that. Oh, they are Star Captain only. Okay, that explains it. Alright, never mind. Uh, shop. Weapons. Weapon shop. Boo Mace. Okay, Barnacle Hook. I didn't realize these, uh, they had level 50 versions of these. I guess they are just really bad weapons. That's why I didn't know about them. Oh, nice. So they did get an update before the game died. Alright, interesting. Infiltrate. The next mission is extremely dangerous. I want you to commandeer a pirate ship. If you can take control of a pirate ship, you can sneak past enemy lines and infiltrate Crow's Nook. Okay, so how does this work? So what, you defeat one mecha and take your mecha? Is that how it works? Is that what you meant by shit? Hmm. Let's see. There's so many potential for mini games uh, inside of this entire Gark slash Lago storyline, but I don't know why they just decided to have, you know, boring old grinding battles again. That is not fun at all. Come on. Okay. Uh, this is the one, I suppose. Pirate Navigator. Piercing Punch. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that did a bunch of damage. Oh. Wow, guys. I have to say, the animations on these mangas, they are absolutely fantastic, dude. But, uh... You know, seeing as how bugged this area is, I don't know how to feel about it. And of course, there's still the story grind which kind of bumps me up. But look at all that, man. Whoa, that is so cool, man. I love it. Okay, so now what? That's it. Explore the sea. Oh, is this the part where we get a mini game now? Wait, what? Huh. Press up, down, left, right. Oh, can you find Crow's Nook? Interesting. Is this Crow's Nook? Oh. Oh, I think they intended something similar for Dragon Fable a few years back, but it never got implemented. Map 1 area loaded. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, if I'm not wrong, uh, like recently there was this discussion on Dragon's Graphs. Like... They were talking about this map thingy that was supposedly supposed to come to Dragon Fable but never came. Yeah, this reminded me very... This is very similar. So I didn't know there was already map quest. Cool, cool. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know there was already map quest. Nice. So Dragon Fable never got it but uh, I guess map quest did get it. Very interesting. Maybe if Dove and Verly saw this, they could, you know, grab the code from MacQuest and implement it inside Dragon Fable. I think that would be really cool, man. Oh, wait, what? Another one? Oh, come on. What? Oh. That's interesting. I don't know what happened there. And apparently, I was a bit too close to the enemy ship just now. Yeah, you can't go too near it. 
even though I didn't specifically hit it, but going too near it sort of triggers it as well. So I'm going to be a bit more careful and try to not uh, ram into the other ships or get too near the enemy ships. Okay, yeah, let's... This crow snook? Nope. Map 2. Area loaded. How do I know? I wish there was some sort of compass telling me where in the world is crow's nook. Come on, man. Where in the world is crow's nook? Cannot go any farther. Oh, okay. Right. So, what about if we go up all the way? Wait, is this crow's nook? Oh! Wait, we found it! Nice! We are excellent nav navigators, guys. I am amazing. Alright, so you know what? I guess this is a good time to end the video. I think we'll call it a day here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.